All right, people. So recently I did a survey of my subscribers asking them for some suggestions for future video content, really. And one of the suggestions here is really good. Using ChatGPT to compose a piece. Um, and so I actually tried it. And <laughs> so I said, you know, I'm trying to improvise a piano piece based on a mood or story. And ChatGPT gave me this great story. Like, oh my goodness, it's a really nice setting, mood, and story. Let's just do a new one, okay? So I, I want this to be totally fresh. And so can you please write me another story in the same format above? All right, so this new story is called The Dance of the Seasons. <laughs> a quaint picturesque town at the foot of a majestic mountain range. Oh my goodness. Enchanting, uplifting, reflective. Hmm, okay. All right, this, all right, so GP is going crazy. We're gonna let it finish, and then we're gonna go right to the piano and try to capture this story, okay? Let's do this. All right, so we're at the piano now, and let's go ahead and start right away, okay? Because I don't want to give myself any preparation time. I want to improvise this piece exactly as it comes up into my head right as I read the story, okay? So let's go. The dance of the seasons, okay? So what should we, uh, what should this key be? A nice E minor, yeah? And a quaint picturesque town at the foot of a majestic mountain range. Okay, this is like the setting the scene. Right? Not too sad, but like magical. The landscape changes with every season, creating a beautiful backdrop for the story. Okay, so the mood is enchanting. Yeah, this is a very enchanting and uplifting. This is a reflective chord, yeah? This major seventh, okay? So that's how we're gonna begin. And then the piece revolves around a young artist named Isabella. So let's play her theme, okay? What is Isabella's theme? How about... Yeah? She has a unique gift for capturing the essence of each season. Her work is celebrated and admired by the townspeople <laughs> who eagerly anticipate her new creations every season. I don't know what that emotion is. <laughs> Maybe something more joyful. Tempo 
takes on a warm, lazy quality. Okay, <laughs> so this is a little too epic. A lazy quality, huh? Let's let's uh, end the melody, symbolizing the long days of the summer. Okay, so. Da, da. It's like a nice summer melody. <laughs> Isabella is drawn to the sun drenched meadows. The bustling marketplaces. Contemplative and wistful tone, reflecting the arrival of autumn. Right? Isabella is enchanted by the rich tapestry of colors and the leaves change and fall. And the melody becomes more introspective, representing her appreciation for the beauty of nature's cycles. So I guess we have a sadder melody now. Signifying fall as things become darker. Gradually, the piece moves towards a sense of wonder. And this is a beautiful wonder chord. As the first snowflakes of winter begin to fall, and then the melody takes on a delicate, crystalline quality, <laughs> which is the magical atmosphere. So how do you have a crystalline quality? You have a lot of these spaced out chords and these sevens. Right, that's a crystal line. Like these icy, you know, these spaced out, you know, knives and these tritone. Right, this is the magical atmosphere of a snow covered landscape. Okay. And Isabella is inspired by the stillness and the serenity of the season. And she creates a painting that's beautiful, okay? And then, now we've returned to the original theme. Okay, so how do we go back to the theme? We go back to the theme now. sense of completion and unity.
provide a talent for God. Uh, I mean, <laughs> we needed a little bit more drama, in my opinion, in this story because Isabella seems to just have it all. Like, you know, as an artist, there's no like big bunches of townspeople waiting for your every single artwork. <laughs> that just does not happen in reality. But besides that, it was a pretty good story of like, you know, this uh, nature, these seasons vibes. But now I kind of want to see if GPT can come up with something more epic, more dramatic or tense or violent. All right, so we're back at GPT and we're gonna now ask her or him that was great. Now can you please tell me a, a story in the same format, but this time more violent, more epic, more, more dramatic, more drama. Okay, let's see what she comes up with. Oh, <laughs> the battle of the stormborn. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> I think she adjusted a little bit too quickly. Oh my goodness. A vast war-torn kingdom filled with treacherous landscapes. Oh my gosh. Look, I asked them for a violent epic <laughs> immediately. It's like, here you go. You want epic? I got you. <laughs> oh God. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Determined warrior named Elric and <laughs> the evil sorcerer is named Eldrick. Oh god. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. I'm not gonna read anymore. I'm gonna let it finish and then we're gonna go right to the piano and uh, try to improvise this, okay? <laughs> Let's look at this new story, okay? The Battle of the Stormborn. Oh my god. Okay, so immediately <laughs> a vast war-torn Kingdom filled with treacherous landscapes and mythical creatures. Oh gosh. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a really uh, maybe uh, I want to do like either you know G sharp minor. Oh uh, yeah, let's just do G sharp minor. I'm feeling G sharp minor for this one. Raging storms and relentless winds. Okay, <laughs> this is like a really good like relentless winds progression. Constant presence shaping the lives of the people. And an intense, dramatic, and epic. Right? Okay, so now let's see how this starts. Okay. I have no idea where this is gonna go. Okay. So the piece revolves around a fierce and determined warrior named Elric. Okay, so let's. What is Elric's theme? I don't know. Mm, uh, uh, Powerful bass. 
Issue with the camera, but let's just continue, okay? Let's just continue. The music reflects the ferocity and the unpredictability of the storms that accompany him. Okay, so let's just try to get back the the music. <laughs> section, the music shifts to a more somber and haunting tone. So, so, so something more somber, right? Something haunting. Representing the tragedies and the sacrifices that they must endure. shift to B minor. The brutal realities of war and confront their own fears.
downward of the emotion, the struggle. Elric's theme comes back. Newfound sense of triumph and resolution. <laughs> some camera issues in the middle but uh overall yeah i think uh, <laughs> this is not bad not not a bad story now i want to see if the chat gpt can come up with something that's like kind of i don't know kind of like sinister sort of something horrific okay so we're back and now i'm <laughs> so after finishing that one i kind of want to see because you know chat gpt you know they have so many controls that limits the edginess of the response, right? So I want to see how edgy ChatGPT can be in this creative writing process. Okay, now I want a story that's just pure evil. <laughs> I want a sinister horror story where this music is scary, okay? Let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> The Shadow Symphony. Okay, first of all, talk about an AI name. Like, the Shadow Symphony is the most AI name I have heard. <laughs> okay, this is not a... It's looking promising. I mean, it's, it's not like truly horror, like, you know, like fucked up. You know, it's not fucked up. It's kind of like this Hollywood evil kind of thing. <laughs> Alrighty. Here we go. <laughs> I'm actually really looking forward to this one because this is actually a pretty dark story that ChatGPT came up with. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try my best. Okay, hopefully the camera doesn't mess up like last time, but this is called The Shadows Symphony. Okay, so let's think of a key signature. I mean, I mean, uh, E flat minor is a little bit too pretty. We need something dark. B minor is really good. Uh, maybe, maybe F sharp minor. Oh, that's good. Okay, so let's do F sharp minor. And then, okay, so what's the setting? A desolate, abandoned village surrounded by perpetual darkness. Oh my gosh, that is so generic. Where malevolent spirits and sinister creatures haunt the shadows. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, this is evil. The moon cast an eerie glow over the decrepit buildings. An unsettling silence pervading the air. All right, we set the tone. Now, let's start the story. The piece revolves around an unsuspecting traveler named Cora, who unwittingly stumbles the haunted village during her journey. It's like confusion. Right? What is that? Huh? And then suddenly Right? Something in the distance. She becomes ensnared in the malevolent forces. She must confront her deepest fears. Okay, the sense of dread that creeps over Korra as she enters the borders of the town. <laughs> the music is slow and deliberate with sudden bursts of intensity. Representing the tragic history of the village, oh my goodness, and the suffering of the souls. <laughs> the melody is somber and eerie, echoing the cries of the lost and the whispers of the damned. Okay, how how do we how do we convey that? The cries of the lost. It's like this mournful melody. The whispers of the dam. It's like the 
whispers. As the piece moves toward a frenzy climax, as Cora becomes desperate to escape the clutches of the malevolent forces that surround her, it's gotta be erratic. It's gotta be disoriented. by the darkness. <laughs> the music returns to the original chilling theme. But the grim Grim sense of inevitability. So how do we do that? It's like these big chords, which are so relentless and inevitable. Waiting to ensnare the next traveler. So now we just hide into the shadows. We can turn to the F sharp minor. This is the evil village theme. <laughs> So I hope that was fun. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this interesting exercise. 
I mean, you know, this, uh, yeah, <laughs> chat GBT, some, uh, pretty generic stories, honestly, cause you know, they, you know, they just, <laughs> uh, but still, uh, interesting, you know, interesting. Okay.